if humidity is making your hair into a frizz ball you don't know how to dry your hair up fast you don't know what routine to follow to give you these gorgeous curls in humid weather don't worry this video is going to be a savior for you all and will help you in every way possible so definitely keep on watching Hello everyone, this is Kushpa Singhvi. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing with you all my curly hair routine during monsoons and high humidity. Okay, and also guys, just so you all know, I already have one video on humidity and monsoon hacks, how to tackle the problems you face like a very itchy scalp or a lot of hair fall. So as you feel, it can be hair shedding, it can be hair breakage or whatever it is. If you're facing such issues in monsoons and you don't know what to do or what shampoos, conditioners or all product recommendations, all of this I have shared in that video definitely I would say go check out that video I will put that in the description but for this particular video I'm sharing my curly hair routine during monsoons and also giving you choices or options to choose from you know according to your lifestyle you know because we all live in different weather conditions we all have a different way different routine uh, so yeah I will give you those options so do not worry and this is going to be super helpful for you all if you are facing issues with humidity and monsoons so also guys before we proceed further in the video i just want you all to know that please do not compare your results or how your hair is working to any other people okay i just want you all to know that in india the weather conditions are very different in different parts of the country all right the south humidity in monsoon is very different from the north humidity in monsoon now i live in jaipur and i live in goa and you guys know that and i have experienced monsoons at both the places and trust me to handle my hair in jaipur is at least five times easier than to handle them in the goa monsoon these are very different so people who live here only will understand that so do not get disheartened if a routine is working for someone or a product is working for someone or it's not working for you it's because of the very different weather conditions all right so yes don't get worried it's okay it's okay it's monsoons enjoy the rains have fun don't think too much about hair but when you have to don't worry watch this video and all your problems will be solved so now let's get started now see the curly hair routine remains the same basically you have to shampoo you have to condition or deep condition and then style your hair this is a basic curly hair routine we all follow but in monsoons or in very high humidity even if it's summers and high humidity i'm just sharing how i change this routine a little and i'm also sharing my most favorite hacks to use during this weather which just literally turns everything trust me when i'm saying that so i'll start with the hacks and i'll tell you how i incorporate them in my wash day also guys so this video will be focusing more on the styling part i will give you a few options for your wash also like how to wash in condition but i will be focusing these hacks are more focused on the styling part because that's very important in humidity and how your hair dries up how much time does it take so yes the focus will be more on the styling routine than the entire wash day routine but i'm sure every hack will help you somewhere or the other so do listen up and do take full advantage and flaunt your curls even in this crazy humid weather so my first and my most favorite hack for very high humidity is using two gels basically layering up your gels now this definitely delays the drying time so in monsoons this drying time becomes a problem so use this only the day you have time to dry your hair and you know that you know you need good hair for the next four or five days otherwise your efforts will go into a waste if you're going to work out the next day and wash your hair in the next two days it wouldn't make sense so this hack makes sense for people who do not wash their hair very often or for any reason you don't sweat a lot maybe you do a lighter workout like yoga which is not making you sweat a lot and you don't end up washing your hair every two or three days okay so you want to wash your hair in the next five six days this hack is magic for you guys and for any reason if you want very good looking curls you have a special event party or anything to attend and you don't want humidity to ruin your curls even then this is great for you instead of layering up your gels i'll give you a magical alternate a magical product that works amazing i will tell you that also but first let me explain to you how you need to do it so do your normal shampooing conditioning or deep conditioning whatever you want or if you're using a co-wash then co-wash whatever cleanser and conditioning you are using choose that after that use a leave-in avoid using heavy creams or any heavy leave-in also for that matter don't use a very heavy styler okay use the lighter leave-in or a lighter cream whatever works for you and don't use a lot of it don't go overboard because in humidity you don't need a lot of leave-in or cream okay so be careful with the quantity you are using and after that layer up your gels use a moisturizing gel first and then a good hard hold gel and now in summers in peak summers and very high humidity you can absolutely avoid using the leave-in also try it out it just works like magic for me in the goan summers i use a nice moisturizing gel and then layer it up with a harder hold gel 
this gives you such gorgeous curls you guys they last long they are literally humidity proof if i can say that so yes only drawback to this is that the drying time increases i will share in hack two how you can reduce your drying time here i will come to that but yes otherwise works great now, now the products the gels i highly recommend for this is these three i love these three gels the fix my curls jelly the curl up gel and ashba these are my absolute favorite to use in humidity they work great for me but you can use any hard hold gel of your choice whichever you think has worked great for you please go ahead and use it now coming to the magical product which i was talking about if you do not want to layer up your gels or just want to use that one product guys this is it the ashwa custard oh my god i love this so much for humidity i cannot even explain this is my second tub of this product this is also like more than half it's like over i love it so so much actually it's very little remaining if you guys can see this is a magical product i'm kidding you now this works so good in humidity it is a little tricky product to use you will get the hang of it in two to three washes you do not have to use a lot of it and this has to be applied on dripping wet hair very important if you do not want stringy curls but don't worry in two to three washes you'll get the hang of it but this is one product i highly recommend if you have the budget now moving on to the second hack for monsoons and how you can incorporate is in your wash day routine is damp styling now, now damp styling actually is that styling your hair when they are damp okay so after shampooing and conditioning and deep conditioning plop your hair for 10 minutes and then style your hair but this adds a lot of frizz to my hair doesn't work great for me you can definitely try it out because it cuts down the drying time a lot but what i personally do is i apply my leave-in first okay after washing my hair i apply a leave-in i style my curls how i have to with the leave-in and then i plop my hair for 10 to 15 minutes and after that i follow up with a gel now what this happens is it cuts down on your drying time you can also wait you know for another half an hour after plopping to apply your gels because you have leave-in in your hair they will be moisturized and then just wet your hair and then apply your gel also works great and this will help in reducing your drying time a little so yes this is a hack you can definitely follow but do not follow this with ashwa custard please apply custard on your dripping wet hair but when it comes to layering up your gels you can definitely follow this one so guys for this wash day today i have used damp styling i haven't layered up my gels i only used one gel and i've used a leave-in before that so the reason i didn't layer up i didn't have to go out anywhere i was just trying a new line uh, of products that is why i've tried that one uh, which you will know in some time so yes just wanted uh, you all to know that this was my results with damp styling now let's move on to our third wash day routine with the third hack now this is for people who are looking for a very quick drying okay if you really want your hair to dry up super super fast and also this is especially for people who work out every day because i work out every day i sweat a lot and i end up washing my hair every second or third day third day normally in monsoons i wash my hair so even if i layer up my gels and i spend those five to six seven hours to dry my hair because in monsoon guys trust me it takes a long time in summers it's still okay to follow that but in monsoons i do not prefer to layer up my gels because it takes so so long so unless i have an event to attend i wouldn't do it okay so what i do is i just use light stylers like a mousse now mousse works great like amazing in monsoons especially i'm suggesting this for monsoons your hair will feel super super light so even if there is humidity but you know you want to wash your hair in the next two or three days might as well use a mousse You'll have good curls till day two, manageable till day three as well. And then your hair will dry up like in hardly two, two and a half hours in the Goa monsoon also. So even if it's like peak monsoon in your area, in Jaipur, it will dry up even faster. So, so this is one great advantage of using a mousse, keeping your wash day super simple. So what I normally do is my midweek wash days looks more like using a co-wash and following up with a mousse or using a moisturizing shampoo and then conditioner and then following up with a mousse. You can choose according to what works for you. In monsoon, in summers, I love my co-wash because I'm using it at least two times a week, sometimes three if I'm washing my hair way too much. But in monsoon, somehow co-washes is not something I reach out to a lot. However, I love to use it because it's a very simple and quick wash day. But I try to alternate with uh, alternate it with a moisturizing shampoo. That's how my scalp is happier. So you choose what works best for you. Let me suggest you some amazing products that you can definitely try. So for co-washes, I'll highly recommend the Curl Up Co-Wash. This is a new launch by Curl Up. It is so, so good, you guys. Even the maintained co-wash, this is what I use for the last two years. It is amazing. It got over and I think Curl Up launched at the right time because it was 
was quite budget friendly. I thought it's a great choice to try. But even the Maintain Co Wash is amazing, especially in summers, you guys. The Maintain Co Wash gives a very cooling feeling in your scalp, and it feels amazing. So yes, in summers, I would highly recommend the Maintain Co Wash if you have the budget. If not, even the Curl Up Co Wash is damn good. So try any, whichever you feel like. These are great co washes. For moisturizing shampoo, I like to recommend this one, the True Frog Moisturizing Shampoo. This is so so good. This is not their other shampoo, guys. This is their new one, Everyday Moisturizing Shampoo, and works like magic i also love the flosser moisturizing shampoo so you can use any of these your hair will not feel you know dry when you use these works great follow up with the conditioner of your choice with the co-wash you don't even need to follow up with the conditioner you can directly jump to your mousse and the three mousse i will highly want to recommend are these three the ashwa mousse the curl of mousse and the true form mousse now ashwa is my first choice because this is a brilliant mousse it gives you a good cast and the shine on this is a little more than the other two uh, otherwise i don't feel a very major difference in how my day two curl look they all look almost the same but if you are looking for a cast and a little extra shine and if you have the budget definitely go for the ashwa mousse if you don't have that big budget then you can choose any of these two Curl Up or True Frog, these are amazing. I've been loving, loving, loving these mousses. So yes, highly, highly recommend. Go for any of these. They work great. Okay, now let's move on to the fourth hack for humidity and monsoons. This is more like an addition to any of these wash days, which will give you very, very good results. And I'm talking about using a light oil. Okay, like styling with a oil. You must have heard of LOC, LOCG or COG. Right? where L stands for leave-in, O stands for oil, C for cream, G for gel. Okay, using this oil for styling works great for monsoon, but you have to ensure that you are using an oil with sealing properties. Okay, you don't want an absorbent oil. You want an oil which forms a layer over your hair and seals in that moisture. That really helps a lot in monsoons. You can use something like argan oil, grapeseed oil, any of these will work. Or if you want to use an oil blend, you can also go for this one from Fix My Curl. This is what I have been using currently and you can see I've finished almost the whole bottle. Before this, I have also used the Curl Up one. The Nune, Nune is a great blend. There are a lot of blends. Now coming to how you have to use it, which I didn't tell you. All you need to do is apply slight little oil from your mid length to the ends after applying your leave-in and before applying your gel, like in between or even just before your mousse. Suppose if you have very dry curls uh, and you know you think only using a mousse is never enough for your hair. So after co-washing or after using a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, whatever you've chosen as your first option, or even a normal shampoo and conditioner, whatever you, however you have washed your hair, after that just apply little oil from your mid lens till the ends and then follow up with a mousse that will also give you great results. So this is a great hack for people who have very dry curls and you don't want to go extra on your styles and want your hair to dry super quick. Okay, now let's come on to the next hack which again works great in this weather. For this also you can use a light leave-in first or the oil as I told you and after that you have to go mousse, gel, mousse. Now see what happens is only using a mousse especially in this weather for some people you know will not give you good results. However your hair will be soft and manageable but if you are looking you know for your hair looking very defined and even if it's for 2-3 days because maybe you have to go to work, you have to go out so even if you wash your hair in the next 2-3 days but you want them to look very defined all you need to do is use a mousse first then use a little bit of gel and then follow it up again with a mousse. You can use absolutely any of these mousses for this. So use a mousse first, then a little bit of a gel. Don't go overboard, you know, with gel if you don't want your hair to dry, you know, slow. You want fast drying process. And then again, follow up with a mousse. This also works amazing. Even gel mousse gel works great, but then your hair will take much longer to dry. So if you don't want that, you want your hair to dry faster, then I recommend to go for mousse gel mousse. Try this out, guys. It gives you amazing results and you will love this hack as well. And before this, if you want, you can apply a little oil from your mid lens to end if your hair is really very dry okay these were the things i change in my routine uh, in monsoons and in high humidity because these works great for me do let me know in the comments if you guys have any other amazing hacks which i am not aware of i'll be super happy to know that and yeah thank you so much for watching